This is a demonstration of the Thomas Enterprise Solutions Configurator technology. We're going to look at this rotary encoder product, which is a very configurable type product, meaning it has many options and selections. Um, so it requires a configurator technology. Um, we're going to take a look at the one that Thomas Enterprise Solutions developed. So we're going to click right here on configure product and we go into the uh, many different selections that are possible with this encoder. For example, you see here we have um, shaft bore, anti-rotation tether, resolution options, channels options, output termination type options. Um, all of these selections are very interrelated. Uh, so as you make a choice on one, other selections may change, they may be eliminated, some options or more options may be displayed. A very logic-based selection process. Let's take a look at one of them here for um, shaft bore size. So if I select um, in this option I have some standard sizes, but I could also put in a custom diameter. Now notice when I make that selection I'm going to get a new option right here where I'm prompted to put in a custom shaft bore size. I'm actually going to type that in, okay? So I can put in here um, a value that's anywhere between 3 eighths of an inch to 1 inch. Uh, it has to be in increments of 1 eighth of an inch, right? So if I put in, for example, 2, uh, I get an, an, a message here that says, um, sorry, it has to be within the range. So let me go back and put in here uh, another value here that's within range and within the increments that are allowed. I'll put in 3 quarters of an inch, okay? Um, now I also can make selections for uh, anti-rotation tether resolutions. Notice also here that I'm building a part number based on the selections that I make, okay? So if I make a selection for, say, 1800, uh, notice that my part number above is going to change based on that selection. So this product may have thousands or hundreds of thousands of possible combinations. Um, and the part number that is generated reflects all of those selections that you've made. Notice also here that we've we've got a neat a neat tool here where we're showing the total assembly image. So as I make selections on output termination, my assembly image is kind of updating, showing that termination in the full assembly, helping the user um, make the selection that he needs. Make sure he makes the right selection. Okay. Um, so these solutions are highly valuable solutions, like a 24-7 application engineer. Um, they have the ability to save tremendous amount of time from, from salespeople or engineering people. Um, they also can reduce sales cycles tremendously. If you're trying to sell a product like this, the sales cycle can be long. Uh, users can come by to this website anytime, 24-7, and get exactly what they need, okay? There's also all kinds of help for them to make a selection. For example, on the shaft bore, um, you have a definition of what that means here, and we can even show images, whatever you like. Now, one of the really neat things that we added into this solution is we have one configurator for the outside world, and we've also developed a private configurator, um, which is only available to people with a, uh, a registration. So here I'm going to put in a user ID and registration. And now when I go back to that configurator for that product, I'm going to see something a little bit different. In this case, what we've built into the, the private version of this same configurator is actually pricing, okay? So notice here that for this configuration, I'm generating pr 
pricing and even quantity discounts are being calculated based on the selections that I make. Okay, so let me make a new selection here on shaft size to a uh, half inch. And now notice how my pricing changes based on that selection. Also, if I increase my resolution, I'm going to get different pricing as well on this product. Okay. Um, so you can see here that th this is a, a tremendous cost savings. Um, these types of products, it's often can take uh, hours, weeks to um, get the exact price to a customer. And here we're able to generate them on the fly automatically. Okay. Um, so you can even have a price be generated based on who logs in. So if you have a special customer who is gets special pricing based on his login, he can see pricing that's only just for him. Okay, and now when we go to the, the final results page here, um, we have many calls to action on this. We can uh, ask a question about this product, send an email, secure email. We can uh, download a PDF spec sheet of this product, uh, a printable page, email the page, save to favorites. Um, all. Uh, calls to action to engage the client with um, uh, your products and uh, your, your process, okay? So here's the spec sheet. We also um, often couple these configurator solutions with um, CAD solutions where we can generate a 3D model where an engineer can download the 3D model of this product or a spec sheet, a submittal drawing, all of that is possible with these um, solutions from uh, Thomas Enterprise Solutions. So thank you.